fucking lie me. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. That and all time I can hear. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. That and all time. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of. Well, I said you was a high class. That was just a lie. Come on. You know I said you were high class. That was just a lie. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of. Expensive jewels. Yes, the hair may be quite continental, but diamonds are girl's best friend. Kiss may be grand, but it won't pay the rental on your humble flat. I'll help you the automatic men grow cold as girls grow old, and they all lose their charms in the end. Still got a bad shape These rocks don't lose their shape Diamonds are a girl's best friends Ain't that the truth? Oh I'm all shook up <laughs> Well, my hands are shaking and my knees are weak I can't see my sound on my own two feet Who do you think when your house so it's love? I'm in love The lady loves me and it shows Part of her way She turns up her nose I'm her ideal Her heart's desire Under that ice She's burning like fire she like to cuddle up to me She's playing hard to get The lady loves me But she doesn't know yet The gentleman has supper there As much as an elephant or a bear That's a bit rough I'd like to take him for a spin Oh, back to the zoo to visit his skin. He's got about as much appeal as a soggy oh, cigarette. On. The lady loves him, but he doesn't know it yet. She's pretending. And uh, I would like to welcome the lady, the, the lovely lady that made all this possible today for us. The one, the only, the magical lady, Auntie. Lynn, ladies and gentlemen, please give her give a big, her a round, big of round of applause. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, and welcome to the fourth annual Magical Scarecrows Let's Make Magic for a Day event. For, thank you. For those who don't know what that's all about, uh, Magical Scarecrows, which is my brand, has been holding variety spectaculars for special children for the last four years, but this is the first year that we've done it in collaboration with the RSPCA. And I'm thrilled about this for so many reasons, but primarily because some of our special children have written stories about their favorite animals and drawn pictures of them. And those stories and pictures have formed the basis of a brand new Magical Scarecrows book, which I have donated the entire publication to the RSPCA, but Thank you very much. Which has done a number of things. It's taught children to think and write creatively. It's given them an avenue to have their stories published, which is something I wanted to do since I sent my first story to a publisher when I was nine years old. But I think more importantly, it has shown some of our special children who aren't from circumstances as privileged and healthy as we are sometimes, that no matter what their ailment or hardship, there's still something positive you can do to contribute to society. And I think that's pretty magical. So I'd like you to thank all the children who have contributed to those stories. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So you can see it's all a game, it's fantasy 
York in June How about you? I like a Gershwin tune How about you? Come on, Elvis I like a cozy fire When a storm is due Hey, I like potato chips Moonlight and motor trips And how about you? Now holding hands in the movie show When all the lights are low May not be new But I like it how What is this? I like it how Yeah. How about you? I love her far horizons. I love her jewel sea. Her beauty and her terror. The wide brown land. Look, look, look around for me. Australia for me. Australia! <laughs> yes! Ah, yeah. That's a chaser. Let it go there. Ah, you're wonderful. Always be an Aussie, mate. Make us proud. Make us proud. All you lovely kids and all the doggies. All the doggies are Australians. For me. Give us a kiss. Give us a kiss. Come on. I tell, you, I tell you what. When, when I grow up, will you marry me? <laughs> Hello, Auntie Lynn. I, I'm just going to get back up here now. Oh, that's, that's not easy for an old bloke. Getting up there. Uh, a lot of people don't know about Auntie Lynn down here who runs all these things and gets, pulls all this. A lot, a lot of work pulling all this stuff together. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know. They think, oh, well, she's the nice lady who runs all the, the various, you know. Shut up! <laughs> there's, cr there's critics everywhere that just runs all these marvellous organisations that raise money for children and so forth. But she's also a very famous author. That's why I call him Gorgeous Man, because he lets me. Bridget was actually trying to give you guys all a little thank you gift. It was a bit of a surprise for, for you. For, for coming. That's a surprise. <laughs> so... This is for you, all, our beautiful performers. Would you like to thank them all again, everybody? Thank you. And yes, we are now going to hand out the gift bags to the, the children in the Rotsdorf area, many of whom contributed to this beautiful special book. I'd like to thank everyone for coming and to say, you know, look forward very much to seeing you again next year. I can hear my mother gasping as I say that. <laughs> and now we are going to invite all of the children in this Rotsdorf area, please, to come up and collect your very special gift bags which have been signed. The books have been signed by Lincoln and there's the DVD of Barry reading the Scarecrow. So please come forward and if my lovely celebrities would help me. Thank you. Thank you very much. and sung in all the right places and we appreciate that. It makes it so much easier for we entertainers. So enjoy the rest of your day. All right? Go out there and enjoy the doggies. I love doggies. I love petting doggies. 
the work that Lynn is doing, it, it, it's hard to, to put into words, and I, I just want to, you to try and understand the difference that education not only can but must make amongst children. And her, back in 2007, she launched Magical Scarecrows, and I was uh, lucky enough to be a part of that down at Dreamworld. And it, it's projects like that that are so, so important. Because if, if we can change the kids of today, if we can change the way they think, then there's a possibility, a very good possibility, that we can change the society of tomorrow. And Magical Scarecrows, with those wonderful, wonderful stories that inspire children, goes a long way towards doing exactly that. <laughs>